In this video, we are going to see how we can use AWS Extract API to extract details from different documents. So I've created this simple Python Flask web app from where you can upload files. You can upload the files to AWS S3 bucket and uh, when you click on the extract button, it's going to extract the details from the uploaded file. So I have created a bucket already, which is empty right now. And uh, I have this web app ready. So let's let's see how this works. So I'm going to choose a file. So I'm going to take some sample checks that I've got it from the internet. And then we are, it's going to extract the details from these checks. Okay. So let's let's upload one. So the file is uploaded. Let's check our S3 bucket. I've got the file that I've chosen. Uh, let's click on extract. So if you see this, uh, the image, the extract API has extracted these details from the image. So let's do one thing. Let's upload another, let's upload a couple of files with this one upload upload is done click on extract So the, the, the another check has extracted these details from it. So let, let, let's understand how uh, we have done this. So this is the uh, Flask code. Uh, I've imported all the uh, libraries. I have the access key ID and secret key. You can generate this from your uh, AWS IAM policies where you can add and uh, create a role and from that role you can download the credentials and put the credentials over here the next part is uh, uploading the files to the s3 bucket so i've already created a video on this i would suggest that you could go and watch that video uh, since i won't be explaining explaining the same thing here again uh, we will directly go to the part where we are doing extraction and calling the uh, text extract api okay so this is the uh, function that is triggered when you actually click on the extract button. Okay, so, so let, let's see the HTML file as well. So in the HTML file, I have the submit button. And the uh, form action is to slash extract and the method is post, okay? So when the user clicks on the submit button, it is going to find this particular function into our app.py. And if you come over here, as you see, I have already routed the same over here. The next part is, so if the user has clicked on the button, then uh, a method is called, it's a request that the user is asking for some information. So it is going to be a post method. And once the user clicks on the extract button, it's going to perform all these operations and then uh, give back the result. So in uh, Amazon, we have the uh, list objects v2 function. Uh, where we can uh, get the list of all the uh, objects in the S3 bucket. So that's what I'm doing over here. And the next part is I'm going to sort them. I'm going to sort them based on the last modified file. So that it takes the file that ha that was uploaded, uh, that was uploaded at the end, or uh, the latest file uh, has uh, that that is uploaded. And so I'm going to sort that. I'm sorting it. And the first item in that list is uh, the latest uh, or the modified one, which we need. Right? So get the first item after uh, you have sorted the, uh, the uh, after you sorted the objects, 
and then you can just convert it into a string so that we know the name of the file that was last that was the latest uploaded file so now 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 here is the amazon text extract part so you need to open the file and then you have to use the function textract.analyze underscore document there might be another functions also you can check out the documentation uh, documentation and then uh, you can read the file uh, so feature types forms is something important that you need to mention uh, if you don't mention this I think uh, it's, it's uh, the text act is not going to work properly so this is an important part the next part is uh, since we have got the response we are going to iterate through the pages of the uh, file that we need to extract okay so since we are paying uh, since we are using checks uh, we could have some standard uh, values key values that that are fixed in in almost all the checks like uh, whom you are going to pay the money or how much amount is it right or the account number so these uh, details are always there in each and every bank uh, that you go so these could be the common parameters on which you can extract the details so there are some in middle functions functions that you can use and get the information uh, from amazon Textract. so here is what i'm going to store a uh, field take take it from the page if there's a form and get the field by key and you mention the key so So the key is pay here. So if anything after pay is what is going to extract and we get the same value over here. So that that is for the pay part. So I've created what I've done is I've created different uh, common parts uh, within a check, which are always there in each and every bank. Right. So next part is rupees and the last one is account number. So all the banks have the same. Uh, format of uh, mentioning the rupees and the account number so uh, what you do is you use this particular function so there are multiple functions given in amazon text Extract api which is the uh, field db field by key and then search field by key all these things you can use so i've used only two of two of them over here to just show you how it works but you can explore more and then you can uh, edit the code in a much better way so this is how it works. I have the text, I have the account number, and once I get the account number, uh, which becomes the key, I need to search for that particular value based on that key. So if it's an account number, then I get the number, uh, whatever number you need at the end. So, so I've created these three sections. So whenever you upload uh, any check, so let's let's try another one. So have this particular check I'm going to upload this so on the s3 bucket let's check i think there should be two images and the third one is still uploading so it says upload done let's check and the file is over here click so it will check the latest file that has been pushed to the s3 bucket and it's going to extract the details from that uh, uh, image so if you see the account number is visible now and so that's how uh, you can use keys to find particular uh, particular parts that you want to actually extract Right. In the end, you just need to render the template and uh, pa pass those uh, parameters back to the front end. So pass those as text and go to your HTML. Once you are in your HTML, you just need to iterate over that part that you have sent, the video that you have sent, and then just print it. And then I think you, you are good to go. So you can do this. Okay, so that this is what I wanted to show you in this video uh, that extract API is used. Uh, 
uh, for OCR and other things. So this is just a basic video which will allow you to uh, get a head start and you can make configuration uh, changes on this on this uh, code. I will push this code onto my uh, GitHub and I guess that would be accessible to everyone. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like our content, please like, share and subscribe.